Hi, my name is Eddie Jackson Jr. And this is a P.S. about the Faye Love story. Just curiosity, and I don't like to put anybody on Front Street if the story is not true. So I've heard some things recently. Let me say this now, I want to say this. Cole and Jack was partners. My motherfucking little den. Him and Cole was partners. And they was getting a hookup from Will up at the car wash on Gratiot across from the McDonald's right there at Gratiot. Now Gratiot and French Road. It's a McDonald's there and they used to cop from Will at the car wash. He was the big dog. So I had a lot of respect for Cole and still do. He was back then driving the Grand National hot rod, flying around there. I thought him and Jack would be the ones to take and have a good run because they offered me in on their run with Will, but Trisha was in jail and I was slowing down. So I passed on it and Jack and Cole was getting major dollars with Will and I mean major dollars. Now let me say this about Cole. Faye Love was getting good money on Kane too because he had a brother selling for him down the street on Mount Clare in the Purple House. He used to sell waiting shit for Faye Love and it was top quality Kane. Okay, so Faye Love was getting dollars. And it had got kind of got around in the street about Black Rob and what was going on. Now, I don't really know, but I'm going to tell you where I got what I heard from, so you'll always know, Cole. Your next door neighbor, Mike, he lived next door to Fay Love. He said he heard Fay Love banging and screaming on the door at the top of his voice as if he was being killed. And this is when the niggas was trying to grab him and put him in the car. Mike said he heard it and he was in the basement. And when he come up from the basement after hearing it, they had got Fay Love in the car and he thought you was in the house and didn't answer the door. Whether that's true or not, I would never want to put you on Front Street. That's what your next door neighbor, Mike, said. And that's where I got that story from because Mike used to cop from me every day. If you know Mike, and I know you know Mike, the next door neighbor who lived next door to your dad, I know you know Mike, and he used to cop from me every day, and that's who told me that story. So I would have never told it if Mike hadn't have told it to me that his brother, I don't know how true that was, his brother was shooting at the nigga because they was taking coal, and somehow you came up, or I don't know. From that point on, that's what Mike said. So I would never want to say, you let your dad got killed, and that's not the situation because that is a painful thing for any man to handle. And I would never want to put you through that if it's not true. So if it's not true, I want you all out there to disregard that and what was the truth. And the only questions I would want to ask Brother Cole today about the whole situation. One, was you and Black Rob beefing? That's the first question. Two, had Black Rob ever robbed you because niggas said he had caught you up there near the river? I'm not saying every time, but had robbed you once because everybody get robbed. Even myself have been robbed and shot. So ain't nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying these are the questions I would have asked. And if that's not true, how, what made Black Rob want to kidnap Faye Love? Was it that Faye Love was getting money on that cane tip? And like I said, he had caught Faye Love around there at the park, a little off his game. So those would be the questions that I would ask like, damn, if you and Black Rob wasn't beefing, and the last one would be, did Faye Love know you and Black Rob was beefing if y'all were beefing? That would be the questions I would ask, and hey, there it is. And I hope, Truly in my heart as a real one, as any brother, I hope you wasn't there or whatever when your father did get kidnapped like that because it would fuck anybody's head up. So I want you all to hear that and hear where I got it from. The next door neighbor, Mike, is who told me everything about it. I don't know whether he's seen 
cold in the house after they had kidnapped Fela. I don't know any of that. I went by what Mike said to me. Now that's who I got it from, your next door neighbor, Mike. So if it was wrong, and I apologize if it was wrong, because I would never want a man to look like a coward that would let his dad get killed and sit down there in the house and hear him beat on the door and scream at the top of his voice and yelling while Black Rob and his nigga snatched him off the porch and he's beating on the door yelling your name, so Mike said. So I don't know how true that is, but that's the story I heard from your next door neighbor. And as I always said, Cole and Jack was always getting money, always had respect for him. So like I say to you all about the Faye Love stories, the only question I would ask was, was you and Black Rob beefing? And if y'all wasn't, what made him fuck with Faye Love? Was it that Faye Love was getting mad money on the cane tip? Because everybody knew that. I was even getting cane from a man in the purple house down the street that was selling the cane for Faye Love. So everybody loved Faye Love because Faye Love was putting it down right. That's why his name was Faye Love. He used to always give cabarets over there off the Quinder that the postman across from the Kmart. William Harmon's brother, my man Ricky, was his security. Big, huge motherfucker. So Faye Love was a fan favorite. And to find out Cole was his son, he was getting money, Cole was getting money. Jack and Cole was partners at that time. I don't know what happened between that, but I know at that time, Jack and Cole was partners and Faye Love was giving cabarets at the Postman. And that's how it was. It was a wonderful time in history. You know, so Faye Love was loved by all because he was a cabaret giver. Everybody would be at the Postman at Faye Love Cabarets, you understand? So Faye Love was love, and we all hate to hear what happened to Faye Love. This is real true street crime giving it to you. And as I say to y'all, this is real true street crime. If I make a mistake, I don't have no problem coming back, letting you all know little add-ons, little things I heard that somebody else may have heard me tell the story and say, hey, Eddie, you got that a little wrong. And if a motherfucker come and say, hey, this is what happened, I gladly tell you all exactly what happened and what they said. I ain't got no problem with it. But I still say this, and I ask this to everybody out there. How much of the story was wrong? That's my question. Was 80% of it right? Was 70% of it right? Was 50% of it right? And I bet you my percentage will be better than Hollywood. I bet you that. I bet you my percentage will be better than Hollywood because the three, four percent I got wrong with Mike said about what happened, which is understandable because that's the next door neighbor and he was getting high and copping from me all day, every day. So I kind of thought Mike knew what he was talking about when he said what he said to me. So it came from Faye Love's next door neighbor, Mike. This is real true street crime. Let me all know I ain't got no problem with straightening out a story. I love to do it. Love to straighten out a story so you all know the truth about what happened. You understand, as I say, at that time, Cole and Jack was getting money with Will up there on Gratchet at the car wash, and they was getting mad money. Right, Dale was getting money. All of them was on the same clip. Right, Dale, the boxer, Cole, Jack, all of them was working for Will at this time. So I don't know what really happened. I went by what Mike said. And as I tell y'all, I'm not curiosity kill a cat and not too nosy and just take what a motherfucker say to the next door neighbor and leave it like that. So this is real true street crime. Tell him you need a good divorce lawyer. Go over there and check Brittany Michelle Jackson out. If you want some good 420 cooking or regular style, have it your way. Call Jelani's Taste and Table. Have him cater the event or drop it off to you. Real true street crime. And he say, oh, there, Jelani's catering. He got some mean 420 tacos and some mean regulars. So they're going like wildfire. We got the 420 tacos and we got them regular style. Get one of each and take that 420 home, which you need it once you get home. Don't eat that 420 and drive, you understand? Eat the regular and drive. 
So as we say, the wonderful chef out of Baker's College, Baker's Finest, is over there killing them with the egg roll, 420 style or regular style. Jelani's Tasting Table. Check us out. This is real true street crime. Why lie when real true street crime will do? Subscribe, share, and like. I am Eddie Baby on Instagram. Subscribe, share, and like. I am Eddie Baby on Instagram. Give me a thumbs up. Thank you to everybody who takes time to listen at my stories. I truly, truly appreciate you all, and I truly try to do my best to tell you the real true street crime, the real true street crime, and if I get it wrong, I'm willing to come back and correct what I got wrong. So this is Real True Street Crime, telling you about the fake love story, the parts I may have got wrong, and one day, hey, I might lay down the whole story and tell you the other side of it. Because remember this, you all, it's always two sides to each story. This is Real True Street Crime, Eddie Jackson Jr. Like, subscribe, and share, and I'm out. And before I leave, as I told you, check out Brittany Michelle, the wonderful attorney. If you need a good divorce lawyer, or buying some property, a property attorney, any of that, corporate. Brittany Michelle Simmons, Simmons Law is where you want to go. Simmons Law, Brittany Michelle Simmons. Check her out over there. Owner, Google her up and get you a good divorce attorney or Make out your will or whatever you need dynamite Brittany Simmons to do. And at the same time, check out Jelani's Tasting Table. Got to check them egg rolls out. Dynamite. Have it your way. 420 style or regular style. Jelani's Tasting Table. And before I go, because I don't like to hold you long now. This is short. Just straightening out a little mistake here because I straighten out all mistakes when they come to me. I straighten them out. But anyway, let me go and leave y'all on this one. Go over there on Spotify and check us out, Crime Town. It is a podcast. And I'm going to be seeing a lot of you all. Ha 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 ha!